When Mom was coming to Canada, she did not know much about the immigration law, and due to many problems, my name was not included on the family member list. My application was refused twice, and in 2007, Mom turned to Olivia's office and a nice lawyer for help. They tried to help me, although the case was so hard and complicated. Cause you know, the problem was the case was with the policy. The policy almost made it impossible for me to live with my family. Olivia and her office her mom look for the information, calling and email the embassy, and they made every effort for my coming, which shortened my worrying waiting time much. My application was refused twice in 2003 and 2006, but eventually I passed the HNC application, and now I'm in Canada, living with my family happily here. But it took me six long years to come to Canada. What's more, after coming here, they helped me adapt to life here. And without their help, I've never been able to enjoy my life so much. Thank you very much, and wish you all the best. I have two children that were born in Toronto. And after the hurricane, I decided to re remain in Canada and try to establish a life for them here. I started by doing social work, community social work. Um, where work I started doing charity work and also develop uh, youth programs across the city uh, for a major charity. And after about a two and a half year ordeal, I was down to two weeks in my last extension from the Canadian Border Police and I was told and advised to uh, contact Olivia Chow and at that time she stepped in and I think within a matter of two weeks um, I received a temporary residence permit from Minister Kenny so it worked out well. So since Olivia has been elected in 2006, our office has dealt with over 1,500 case files and thousands of inquiries. Every day we work with new Canadians and people in Olivia's riding to make sure that they have a fair immigration process. And what we do is we write letters, communicate with different immigration officers, and also we also contact the minister as well. Well, basically, I was due in a couple of months with our first child, and at that point, I had no idea if I could live in Canada with my husband. My life was in total chaos and in limbo, and I had no idea what was coming up next. My husband and I filed a permanent residence application for me and sent it to uh, uh, CIC Buffalo. After several months of not hearing anything from Immigration Canada, we decided to send them an email, and we still didn't get a concrete answer. Um, after that, we decided to contact my husband's MP, Olivia Chow, and we spoke to her staff about my case. My case had slipped through the cracks, and if it wasn't for Olivia Chow's office inquiring directly within CIC Buffalo, I doubt that I would be here living today as a PR with my family. I know you're as moved and inspired as I am, these powerful stories of my constituents. Yes, my office have been able to make a difference, and yes, these are successes. But we know that we need changes, fundamental changes, on Harper's immigration and refugees policies because they are not fair. So let these stories inspire us, and together we can work for change.